I think the focus of this swing thought being slow and short is super important because often the opposite thing will happen for golfers and that will have the two consequences that if we're fast we often get long but if we go sh slow we can often be shorter. Now for a lot of golfers they're appreciating that they want to swing a bit shorter, they're appreciating that sometimes with the driver they get too long, they get a bit out of control and they lose the consistency of the ball flight. But what they don't necessarily know is that to be shorter you should also be slower. And this works on the concept that if you swing the club back very very quickly, as you tell yourself to stop and to change direction, if that club's traveling quickly, the momentum will keep the club traveling further than you thought it would. And I often see this with golfers. I'll video them like the camera is in front of me there. And I'll sort of say, well, swing back and tell me when you get to three o'clock. So three o'clock would be horizontal to the ground again. And a golfer will do this. Yep, that's three o'clock. And we'll look up and we'll go, yeah, okay, it's near enough three o'clock. But did we see this bit? Did we see where the club actually went to? Because it was probably nearer four o'clock. And that's because the club was traveling back fast. So if the club goes back fast, I think three o'clock is gonna stop. The club keeps going and then bounces back up. Now a golf club that's going too long and too fast is often deemed to be out of control and the golfer can struggle with the accuracy or with bringing the club back down to the right position. So what we'd actually like to focus on is swinging back a little bit slower and therefore the golfer can control the length of the shortness of their swing. So if I bring the club back more slowly, when I feel three o'clock happens, I can stop, check, and I'm probably more likely gonna be bang on the three o'clock or bang on any determined length that I want to swing. So if I want a shorter swing, let's say for pitching action, as long as I go back slower, I can pick my shortness and I can swing down. But if I go back quickly, when I think about stopping, the club just hinges and goes too far. So swing slower to swing shorter. If you think of a slow and short takeaway, you'll feel more control at the top of your swing. And understand the fact that that's not gonna slow your downswing down. If you go back slower, you can actually accelerate nice and quickly. Think about accelerating a car. If I'm moving backwards in that car at 30 miles an hour, it takes a lot of effort to slow it down to then change direction and accelerate again. If I'm going backwards at one mile an hour, I can accelerate and go forwards a little bit quicker. So if you're going backwards really, really fast, it takes some energy to stop it, to change directions, come back down. Go back slow, come down quick, and that should encourage longer shots, not shorter shots. Slow and short on the way back for longer, straighter golf shots.